uh, I asked him about the single biggest thing that's changed from last year. He said super coordinated, super communicative, which seems to point to a degree to you. Yeah, I mean, I think they're doing a good job. I think uh, Trell Williams, I think Ryan Crow, I think they do a really good job with those guys getting them together, uh, maximizing our time with them. Um, but they're taking ownership of it. Uh, I think all of them are selfless. Um, I think they're going to do what they can for the guy next to them to help them out. Um, they celebrate each other's success, which is a big deal. Um, and it's just continued to kind of build their confidence with everything we're doing. It's continued to build over the past few weeks here, and hopefully it continues. Are the quarterbacks you faced already this year help prepare you for this week, or is this start a little bit different from them in some regards? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, we've, it seems like every other week you're facing a mobile guy, right? So you always got to be ready for those guys to take off. You got to be disciplined with how you rush them. You got to be coordinated. Um, all those things we kind of just talked about, but uh, you got to be aware of him, right? He can hurt you with his legs. Um, he's got the ability to scramble, took a big one against Jacksonville when they didn't have the edge and ran 25, 30 yards down the field. Um, so he's got that ability. You always got to be aware of it. At the same time, you got to be able to rush, but do it smartly, how smart. Much, <laughs> how much more difficult does it make when you have a guy like that? Like it truly makes it 11 on 11 football. Yeah, I mean, it is. Like I, like I said, I think you got to be mindful of it. I think. Uh, in the back end, those guys got to be mindful of it. If you're a piece, um, whether you're you're defending the hole and giving some presence to the DBs or you're dropping into coverage somewhere, you got to have a mindset too where, hey, if this guy breaks, I got to be ready to show up and really help, right? That that allows you to free up some of these rushers at times where it's not always on the front four. Last week said that they only threw in Fulton's direction one time. Are you getting a little bit you know, of, of respect for what he's done this year or, or you know, or, or, or teams just choosing to throw? Yeah, I, mean, I think there's a lot of probably things that go into that. Um, I do. Um, I mean, it was good getting him back out there. Still think he he's probably working his way back. I don't think it was as great as, as it could have been. Um, but he's working his way back, and hopefully where he kind of left off uh, before he got injured, hopefully he picks back up there and that, that continues, whether they're throwing at him or not. Get energy by making plays, you know, when guys kind of feeding off of one another. How much, how much fun has it been to kind of watch your group kind of develop that on-field personality and playing with so much energy this year? Yeah, I think uh, I think they're a really close group. Um, like I said before, I think they're all pretty selfless. Like there's not a whole lot of selfishness in the group. Um, they all want to see each other succeed, and you're seeing multiple guys make plays, um, and they're truly excited for them. It's not. It's not fake celebration, right? It's not why me, why is this guy getting everything? They're all they're all excited for each other. They're playing hard together. They're playing for the guy next to them. And ultimately, if if you can play for the guy next to you, you can execute for the guy next to you. That's when you're going to have success as a unit. What's it been like for Autry to bounce between Williams and Crow to a degree and to change week to week a little bit? Yeah, I think he's handled it well. I do. Um, I mean, we ask a lot of them to be able to go inside and out, like. It's a different different skill set that you're facing, um, different responsibilities that are required of you um, in the run game and in, in the rush game. Um, I think he's handled it well. I think having had experience doing that in the past has helped him. Um, he's played on the edge some. He's played inside some. So I think that's contributed to his success and being able to handle uh, doing both. But I think he's been great with it. I think. Again, I think Terrell and Crow do a good job communicating and kind of working that stuff out and scheduling it um, where we're able to maximize their time with them and make sure he gets what he needs at both spots. Secret to anybody in this league. What's what's he do after all these years to, to get open effectively? Still? Yeah, I mean, he's he's an elite receiver. Like, he, he's got speed. He's He can run all the routes, right? Um, I mean, it's a big challenge for us to try to keep the ball of his hands. I mean, they're looking for him, as they should be. Um, but in my mind, he hasn't dropped off one bit. Like he, he does everything well in terms of his routes. He can take you down the field. He can get open underneath. Um, so he does a good job. He's a, he's a whole receiver, in my opinion. Well, I just want to try to explain Mike's impact on the team. They resort to the sort of the indoor gym stereotype, almost like a raw rod type of guy. But for, for leadership, for a head coach, how much more does it have to go beyond some kind of pre-game speech or message on a board? Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing uh, that I see is, I mean, he cares about the guys. Like, he truly is genuinely 
caring about each individual player on this team, whatever their role might be, whatever situation they're going for, uh, going through. And I think when you care about guys, that's when you start to earn their trust, earn their respect. And ultimately, they're willing to do whatever for you, right? If I know somebody's got my back, regardless of what's going on, like I'm going to do everything I can to make them right um, and be there for him and do what, what he's asking me to do. Jeff's been red hot with the sacks the last couple of weeks, but when you hear him talking about, well, it's not just me, it's the other guys setting me up so I can have success. Is that kind of like what you're talking about with these selfless guys? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I think the more they see that, um, the more they see that and they're able to kind of recognize that, the better off we're going to be, right? Because the more people doing things, they're, they're realizing it's, it's a one-on-one -on -one game, but at the same time, you can find success using the guy next to you too, right? Where you're not solely res relying on winning one-on-ones all the time. I'm using my help here, no different than in coverage. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm playing with this leverage because I know I got a piece in there. It just goes back to continuing to build that trust, right? That confidence in your teammate that they're going to do their job.